Hi friends, today's video is about the cutaneous nerves of the front of the leg and the dorsum of the foot. So in this diagram we can see the cutaneous nerves. First one is the infrapatellar branch of the saphenous nerve. It pierces the sartorius and the deep fascia on the medial side of the knee. Then it curves downwards and supplies the skin over the ligamentum patellae. Next one is the saphenous nerve. It is the cutaneous branch of the posterior division of the femoral nerve. It pierces the deep fascia on the medial side of the knee in between the sartorius and the gracilis. Then it descends downwards in front of the great saphenous vein. Here it supplies the medial side of the leg and the medial border of the dorsum of the foot up to the bowl of great top. Next we have the lateral cutaneous nerve of calf. It is a branch of the common peroneal nerve. It pierces the deep fascia over the lateral head of the gastronomius. Then it descends downwards. Here it supplies the skin of the upper two-third of the lateral side of the leg. Next is the superficial peroneal nerve, which is another branch from the common peroneal nerve. It arises on the lateral side of the neck of the fibula, deep to the fibers of the peroneus longus. Then it descends between the peroneus muscles and pierces the deep fascia at the junction of upper two-third and lower one-third of the lateral side of the leg. It divides into medial and lateral branches. They supply the skin over the lower one-third of the lateral side of the leg and the skin over the entire dorsum of the foot with the exception of the following areas. One is the lateral side supplied by the sural nerve, the medial side supplied by the saphenous nerve, then the first interdigital cleft supplied by the deep peroneal nerve and the distal phalanges including the nail buds of the five toes. Okay, next one is the sural nerve. The sural nerve is a branch of the tibial nerve. It arises in the middle of the popliteal fossa. Then it runs vertically downwards, pierces the deep fascia in the middle of the back of leg. It accompanies the small saphenous vein. It supplies the skin of the lower half of the back of the leg and of the whole of the lateral border of the foot up to the tip of little toe. Okay, next one is the deep peroneal nerve. The deep peroneal nerve terminates by supplying the skin adjoining the cleft between the first and the second toes. Next, we have the digital branches of the medial and the lateral plantar nerves. They curve upwards and supply the distal parts of the dorsum of the toes, including the nail buds. So, the digital branches of the medial plantar nerve supplies it supply the medial three half digits and the lateral plantar nerve supplies the lateral one half digits. So that is about the cutaneous nerves on the front of the leg and the dorsum of the foot. Hope you understood and thanks for watching.